Hey guys, what is going on? Your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Adobe Muse Quick Start Guide. And in today's video, we are going to be showing you how to create a working contact us form. So what this is going to do is going to capture a bunch of information from the user of your website, such as your name, email, message, and it's going to email it all to you. Now, there's loads of different things that you can do with this. We can create detailed ones with full questionnaires or, you know, just something simple like this where it takes a name, email, and sort of what they want to go, uh, what they want to send to you and we're going to be showing you how to create it, how to style it and how to set, set up the functionality and we're also going to be showing you how to create sort of custom fields on this to add in your little own individual little bits. We're going to be going over for over all of these little settings so let's just go ahead and show you exactly what we're going to be creating. So if I go ahead and open up my, you know, sort of design mockup for the website, you can see I've got this contact form here and we've got name, phone name, phone number, and you know, a little text box there. And all of this will sort of just send off, you know, a little email to you so you know how to message them, how to get the business and do whatever you've got to do. So creating these forms inside of Adobe Muse is quite simple. Once again, it is as simple as just creating a widget. So you need to go into your widget library and then go over to forms and then you can see you've got two forms here. So you've got a detailed form which is going to create loads and loads of different options here or you can just create a simple contact form with you know just a few options and then a submit button. Um, and you can sort of add to that later on if you want to but to create it just go ahead and click and drag and drop it in there and you can see now you've got like a name field, an email field and a message field. So once you've got that in there, go ahead and open up the options menu for this and I'm going to try and quickly go over all of the different options that you've got available here. First ones first, you can see we have got the contact form up at the top, sort of the name of it and then the email that you want it to be emailed to, you can set this to whatever you want really, your own personal email, work email, and this is exactly where all of the captured information is going to be sent to once we upload the web page. Below that, we've got an option for after sending. So basically, this pretty much allows us to find where the user is going to take, is going to be taken after they, you know, after they've hit submit. If you want them to stay on the current page, you just leave it by default, but if you wanted to sort of send it over to another page where you have like a uh, like a thank you message, you could do that, just create another page and then you just link it up on there or you can add anchor points if you have some of those so you can take it to a certain location on your website, choose what you want or you know you can even just, for example, let's go ahead and try something so you know let's just send them to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to go ahead and put a, a link in for that. So youtube.com slash vertus edu, that's perfect. And that will do that afterwards. Just make sure you go ahead and press enter to sort of send it off. For now, I'm just going to leave it on stay on current page. Um, next thing over here, we've got our standard field. So that is going to be email, name, and then just message. The message one isn't necessarily something that you can just get rid of. Um, you can add in extra stuff, for example, home phone number, and you can see it automatically gets generated there home address you could put that in there and the list gets longer and longer you've got loads and loads of pieces and pieces of information that you can put in there so just play around with it go ahead and add that in do whatever you guys have got to do um but i'm just going to leave it exactly as it is by default you've got you can go ahead and just play around with those add the things you need to do so if you need more information than this just just add in more information than this and it, it, it's really is as simple as that just add in all of the stuff you need um, for now by default I'm just gonna leave it there you can also choose to add in a capture so you know most little word or the picture word that you see come up um, you know that will sort of show you like a message and you've got to try and decode it it's just a stop spam you can add that in um, and you can just chuck it in there just like that it'll ask you whether or not it's a robot and then you got image stuff there's a few different types of verification for that if you're not worried about spam or anything like that, don't worry about it, don't add it in, just leave it there. Um, and down at the bottom you can even add in custom fields like single line text, tick boxes, multi line text, radio buttons. Radio buttons look a bit like this, tick boxes look a bit like this, uh, multi line text looks a bit like that. Um, you can make it bigger, smaller, just play around with it. If you want to change some of the text on here, it's quite simple. Just go ahead and select the text tool and just choose whatever you want to change. So for example, if I go ahead and select message on here, I can change now what, I can change to something like, what would you like to tell me? You would, what would you like to tell me? 
and that will sort of add it in there just fine for us. Now you might want to make this individual little text box bigger to make it fit, you just need to style this in the same way you would with any other sort of thing. So for now I'm just going to go ahead and delete all these elements um, and then you can just sort of drag these up, make it bigger, just move it around just like anything else. It's really simple and that's why that's sort of one of the reasons why I really like Muse. It's so easy to use, so easy to work with. Now in terms of styling it, colors and stuff, just click the specific element and you can then just use the normal styling stuff. Make sure you're not using the text tool. So if I choose this little box, change the fill color, if we change this something to <coughs> if we change this to something like a like a light orange, you can see it's going to do that. Um, and you can sort of go from there. For now, I'm just going to leave that as a sort of like a gray. Actually, you know, I'm going to leave that with a default color. So I'm just going to sort of undo set fill color. Go back to the default. I'm going to add a little stroke on there. And that stroke is going to be orange. And I'm just going to turn up the stroke width there. And that looks quite nice. And now I'm also going to change the, the look of the text. And you'll notice as I sort of make these changes, it's going to make the changes to all of these different uh, boxes, all of the different pieces of text. If you don't want that to happen, select the options. Um, so I'd select the contact form and then just just uh, turn off edit together and that will fix that for you. Um, but it is a really nice way to sort of just change all of this. So I am going to proceed to increase the font size on this and you can see it's doing it for us just there on all of these. I'm going to set it to 18. I think that looks quite nice. And I'm also going to be changing the font as well. I'm going to change that to a Verdana and that looks quite clean. You can see there's not enough gap between this bit here. So I'm just going to move all of these boxes down just a little bit. Make sure you're you know, selecting the right item. And there we are. So if we go ahead and place our form in just here, it should be looking quite nice. If we go ahead and preview the page, we should be able to see it. Now it's not going to work straight away until you actually upload it to a website, but we'll test it so you can see exactly what you're going to get. So if you press submit, it says submitting this form from Adobe from Muse Preview will not work. Basically it needs access to a sort of like a web server to be able to do all of this. But for now the functionality is there and when you do upload it, it will work 100% fine. If you've got that message, you know you set it all up perfectly fine. Now we are going to be going over sort of setting up your, you know, we're going to be going over setting it up, uploading it to the website and all that. And we're also going to be revisiting this later on just to make sure that it works. And you can also see our other work widgets are working over here as well, which is quite nice. One thing that I do want to do, however, is I want to quickly make sure that this widget, the, the Google Maps widget has the same stroke as the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm just going to select this widget. And I'm just going to give it a little stroke. I'm going to increase that up to something like a two. And as for the stroke color, I'm just going to make this an orange. And I'm going to place it in just like that. And then I can move these around. You could add a stroke to these as well, but it doesn't look that great, to be honest. Um, and there you are. You can see it's all coming together. It's starting to look like our Contact Us page. You could create the fancy icons for Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and all of that if you want to. But for now, I'm just going to be working with these default widgets. Anyway, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to go over for the contact form. You can see we've got it on our website. The person can sort of fill that out, do whatever they got to do with it. Um, so I'm just going to show you that one last time in here. Type something in, uh, for example, type in, hello, I would like to party. And it's going to go in there. You can change the text font, color, size fill everything that you guys want to do what i want you guys to do is go ahead and play around with some of those different settings look at the different styling options that you've got available but for now hopefully you guys have the knowledge to sort of create this awesome form before i start rambling on let's just go ahead and end off the video thanks for watching make sure you share the video smack that like button and as always i will see you next time